and five devastation on top of destruction after a fire in the Bronx. Tenants say they were victimized twice, first by the flames and then by looters who robbed them. It's a CBS2 exclusive and CBS2's Lisa Rosner live now in Parkchester with the story for us. Lisa. Maurice and Alice, there is a security guard at the entrance to this building. It's required to be there 24-7 to make sure nobody trespasses. But it looks like that did not happen here, adding insult to injury for these now homeless families. It was a lethal combination of fire and ice. 1547 Commonwealth Avenue ravaged by a seven-alarm fire January 2nd and now ravaged by thieves. Stole my money, our jewelry, our wedding rings, everything that we worked hard for. It was just water damage, so why is my stuff tossed like garbage? Why is anything touched in the first place? Joseph Rodriguez says his wife's baby shower gifts are missing too. They took all the baby stuff. All they left in the drawer was socks. A stand without a television. Shelves that were once filled with expensive ornaments empty. 12 families evacuated on an Arctic morning, now homeless and furious. One of my co tenants came in to find the urns of her son's remains all strewed. The Department of Buildings lifted the vacate order Friday so tenants could return to get their stuff under building supervision. But it looks like no one supervised their belongings, despite DOB requiring the building hire security. There was supposed to be security in front of the building and they walked out with my TV. So what was the security doing? We tried to call a man by the name of Tony at United Tremont LLC, which tenants say runs the building. The person who answered said he wasn't there and would not give us Tony's last name. It took them almost eight weeks to allow us back in the building. Given the opportunity, thereby there's a fire escape around the corner that's unsecured that anyone could just climb in. And ownership of the building is still unclear. We're waiting to hear back from the DOB as to why this building was not properly secured. And residents have not yet been able to file a police report because they just returned this week to find out they were burglarized. We're live in the Parkchester section of the Bronx. Lisa Rosner, CBS2 News.